Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Thursday edition of the Force Feed. In today's gaming news, two videos for Dishonored show the various ways to play the game, Diablo 3 goes on sale at Newegg.com, registration for the Shootmania Storm beta coming to an end, and Guild Wars 2 officially gets a launch date. What's up nerds? What? Last time I called you geeks and everyone freaked out. I need some name for you guys. On to the news! First up is a pair of videos for Arcane Studios' upcoming stealth action title, Dishonored. In them, we get to take a look at the various ways you can play through the game. Both videos show a playthrough of a mission in the game called the Golden Cat. The difference between the two is that one video shows a stealth approach, while the other video shows an in-your-face violent approach. It's a good showcase of how in Dishonor, depending on how you decide to tackle an objective, your experience can be vastly different. Stealth or charge your way through Dishonored on the 360, PS3, and PC this October. This is great and all, except for the fact that the stealth video is literally two times as long as the action video. Which is basically them saying, hey, if you've got no life and a ton of free time on your hand, play stealth. Otherwise, action's the way to go. Next up, we've got news that Diablo 3 is now on sale. Yes, the game was released a month and a half ago and it's already currently on sale. Extrapolate what you will. Diablo 3 is currently on sale for $50 on Newegg.com. This price also includes free two-day shipping. One would assume in seeing such a price cut so early that the game's sales were hurting, but let us not forget that Diablo 3 was the fastest selling PC game of all time, even though half the people who bought it so quickly couldn't play it. Really though, I think this has little to do with Diablo 3 and a lot more to do with Newegg trying to drive traffic to their site. Which is great. If you haven't bought Diablo 3 yet and you're still thinking about it, you can save 10 bucks. Go to Newegg.com and you're all set. The competitive FPS Shootmania Storm is set to enter its beta sometime soon. Beta registration will be ending in the near future, so you're going to want to sign up now. Registration for the upcoming Shootmania Storm beta will be ending on July 2nd, so if you're interested in trying out the game, now is the time to sign up. Although no start date has been set, anyone who registers will get a key to participate in the game's 7-day trial. The beta will also introduce Siege Mode, which is a 5-on-5 competitive game type, on top of the already known 1-on-1, -on 3-on-3, -three -on -three, and free-for-all modes. Now this game is from the same guys who brought us Track Mania, which is the racing game that lets you custom make tracks. In Shoot Mania, it's a competitive shooting game, a la arena style of gameplay, that allows you to make custom levels. Now the only real question is, is the shooting any good? Because all this custom level building isn't going to mean much if the shooting is crap. I guess we'll find out in the upcoming beta. Last up in news today is the fact that Guild Wars 2 has finally gotten its release date. ArenaNet has officially announced the launch date for Guild Wars 2 today as August 28, 2012 which is exactly two months away. This highly anticipated MMO has many people hoping it will breathe new life into an otherwise stale and overdone genre. Whether or not the game will live up to all the hype won't be known until its release, but one thing's for certain, playing Guild Wars 2 over other MMOs will save you $15 a month. The hope for many right now is that Guild Wars 2 will revitalize the genre. What I want to know from you guys is, do you think that's the case? Will Guild Wars 2 bring enough new things to the table to reinvigorate MMOs? Or are we going to be dealing with more or less the same old thing? Let me know what you guys think below. Alright guys, that'll do it for today's episode of the Force Feed. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments box below, and like and favorite this video if you did in fact enjoy it. Tune in tomorrow for another episode of the Force Feed. Once again, this has been Force, and you've just been Force Fed. Come on, are you really offended? I called you a nerd. So look, look at that, I'm wearing a sweater vest. How are you gonna be offended by a man in a sweater vest? I'm the biggest nerd of them all.